So, I know people probably get tired of me making videos talking about the weird coincidences that happen in my life, but, you know, they've been really ramped up lately, and I really want to express these to other people, because I wonder if this happens to other people. I know the media is coded, I know that there's stuff in movies and films and everything else, but there is definitely some crazy weird things that are going on along with it, and it's all part of it. There's something, you know, it's something bigger. Everything that I'm talking about, it's all interrelated into this system that we are born into, or whatever is being done. Somehow, either we're being manipulated, or there is some type of weird code. So, yesterday I posted a really long video, and I'm sorry for making a really long video, but whether I made it really long or just chopped it up into a bunch of pieces, it's still going to be the same amount of information. All of that video is super interrelated, whether, it, you know, even if you don't think that it is, it's a lot to take in, I understand, but, you know, I just figured I'll just make a really long video. People listen to radio shows and everything else, like tonight... I'm going to listen to the Gematria effect while I clean the house and whatnot. You don't actually have to physically watch the video a lot of the times. You can just listen to the video. And, you know, you don't have to listen to it all at once. You can always bookmark it and come back or whatever and try to listen to the rest of it or something. But that being said, in that video, I talked about my family and how it seemed to be synced up to the Super Bowl, which is really weird. I talked about my uncle bringing me the Miami Dolphins jersey out of nowhere, and its he, they're all connected. All of their deaths, they all died from cancer, like my grandpa. It's all connected in some weird way. And the uncle who gave me that jersey, his name is Barney Murphy, who equals 166 in Gematria, and I found out that he was the one who gave it to me at the gold slipper that equals 166 in Gematria. And... The Gold Slipper is a restaurant that a different uncle of mine had owned for a good majority of my life. I don't know when he started owning it. Before he owned it, my mom's cousin owned it. His name was Joe Heller. He also died of cancer. But anyway, another thing that was super interesting about this when I noticed this Jersey story was I made a blog post about how my mom's cat was missing, and it was missing since the beginning of December. And... You know what? I mean, it's been really, really cold out, and I thought the cat was for sure dead. But my Aunt Betty had posted a video on Facebook that there was this orange cat outside of her house. And she lives probably, I don't even know, one, two, three, like six blocks away from my parents' house. So it, w it would be possible for my mom's cat to somehow have got over there, got lost, whatever. And this picture she had of the cat looked like my mom's cat, and... My mom went over and looked, and it wasn't her cat, but it's just kind of weird that, that my Aunt Betty is my Uncle Barney's wife, and then there's this cat story, and what's interesting about the cat story is the cat actually turned up, it was about six miles outside of town, and the way you get to this place where it was is you take the Gold Slipper Highway. So, another interesting thing I didn't talk about in that video was that my uncle's name is Barney. And he married a lady named Betty, you know, reminding you of Barney and Betty Rubble on the Flintstones. And I thought, all right, I'm going to look up the Flintstones. And when I looked up the Flintstones, the Flintstones just so happened to have 166 episodes released in the original series. 166, my uncle's name equals 166. He gives me a jersey, and I find out that it's from him at a place that equals 166. And I thought since everything seemed to be synced up to the Super Bowl and whatnot, and possibly it's not even for the Dolphins, but possibly they're just showing me something else in regards to the Super Bowl or something connected to the Miami Dolphins in my own life. You know what I mean? Maybe it has nothing to do with the Super Bowl and they're using the Super Bowl to connect to my life or, and so, you know, it's just some weird stuff. Anyway, I looked up Season 5, Episode 1 of the, of the Flintstones, and it just so happened to be called Hop Happy, and look what it's about. Hoppy, the new pet that Benny, Betty and Barney got, Bam Bam, causes major havoc. I mean, it's just pretty weird that it's about the pet, and I'm talking about 
my mom's cat being missing, possibly being at my Aunt Betty and Barney's house. And then the Season 5, Episode 1 is about the new pet at Betty and Barney's house. Also, the Flintstone characters, and somebody had told me this a long time ago, because I made a video in regards to, there was a Ralph theme. We had the death of the Big Lebowski, and they go to Ralph's. That's part of the inside joke. And I talked about Ralphie May and how he was synced up to uh, Sam Kinison and a bunch of how fat comedians are, their deaths are all connected to the numbers 124. And I said, you know, possibly Ralphie May, he has numbers that look like he could possibly die within the next year. And then not even a month later, we got the death of a fat comedian named Kevin Meany. I also talked about the... Uh, Celebrity Roast of Rob Lowe, and they had Ralph Macchio on there, Danielson, and that's when I started talking about my mom and some of these connections, which is pretty weird. But anyway, the Flintstones, the characters are actually based off of a TV show called The Honeymooners, and think about how many times I've mentioned the moon symbolism and the moon theme and whatnot, and then the Flintstones are based off of characters from this TV show. The Honeymooners, which I've never watched. It says it was even based on a recurring 1951 to 55 sketch of the same name. So it even has ties back to the year 51. We're, we're going into Super Bowl 51. But if you just write out Honeymooners in Gematria, Honeymooners equals 166. Just like the Flintstones had 166 episodes. Just weird stuff. So Fred Flintstone is based off of Ralph Cramden in this TV show. And that's where the Ralph stuff was coming from. That's Fred Flintstone. But this is in regards to Barney and Betty. And Barney Rubble is based off of Ed Norton on this TV show. And he's played by Art Carney. Interesting, Ed Norton equals 105 in Gematria, Art Carney equals 105 in Gematria. If you write out his full name, Arthur Car Carney, it equals 152, just like Super Bowl LI. So I thought that was weird. And I don't remember the exact timeline of this. I went and picked my daughter up from school after I posted that video about the Miami Dolphins. And when I went and picked her up, I came back. And all of a sudden, on my YouTube page, they took away all my stuff here. They took away my my the Last Supper thing, the meme that I had on here on my channel art. They took away, like, my featured videos, you know. Normally it says, watch this one next, or the how-to Gematria video should be on there. I went to the settings. They had turned all the settings off, like, and they turned, they turned on monetize my videos, which I did not do. I don't want to put ads on any of my videos. It was really weird. And I wonder if the amount of subscribers had something to do with it. It's I had 1972 subscribers, and then the video that I had just posted, I talked a whole lot about the 1972 Miami Dolphins, who went 17-0. Dan Marino played for 17 seasons. This year will be the 17th anniversary of Dan Marino's last game. Ryan Tannehill wears number 17. So, I didn't know what, what to think. I went and looked at some other ones, and possibly I'm wrong. I feel like I feel like on Zach's, the truth right here got bigger or something, but possibly could be nothing. And it's actually changed back now. It's fixed now, but it was only fi it was only down for like an hour or something. I wish I would have knew the exact time that it went down. Probably syncs up. I took a picture of what it was supposed to look like. This is normally what it looks like. But they took all that down. Anyway, I started thinking about where that actual picture came from, the Last Supper picture, because on it I wrote, whatever, sorry Judas, you're going to hell, because I said I wanted KFC for my last meal. But the original meme that I made was on Facebook in 2013, and I wrote, bread, all you fucks are going to hell, I said I wanted slipper chicken for my last meal. So pretty weird, I'm talking about all this, the gold slipper, how it connects to my uncle. The original meme that I had for this picture was about the slipper chicken. I did make an edited version too, I don't know what I wrote. 
I changed it because somebody had talked about they wanted to actually take the take the meme and uh, posterize it or whatever and actually put it up at the slipper because they thought it was funny. So I made a little edited version of it too. Anyway, I posted this on Facebook on 9-9 of 2013. And the date numerology, 9 plus 9 plus 20 plus 13 equals none other than 51. But what's interesting too is I talked about the, the year 2013 a whole lot and how Super Bowl 51 synced up to Super Bowl 48 and the Dolphins bullying scandal and the 72 Dolphins going to the White House 72 days before Richie Incognito got suspended. And they also found the the dolphin, the new star in the constellation of Delphinus right before that, and a bunch of dead dolphins. So the gold slipper is, you know, it has steaks and everything else, but a lot of people know it for the chicken or whatever, the fried chicken. And I just wrote out fried chicken in Gematria because there's been a few times where I've made videos about all these weird things connecting. And for some reason, it's been connected to fried chicken. Like, I got really sick after eating fried chicken, and it was five months, six days after my birthday on a date numerology of 56, and I was my birthday was on a date numerology of 56. Bunch of 56 stuff. I typed out fried chicken. It equals 95, just like my name. And my full name even equals 95, in the small way or whatever. Most people call the gold slipper, they just call it the slipper. The slipper or slipper. Slipper also equals 95. If you write out 166, like the gold slipper, like my uncle's name, it equals 95. And then I started thinking, what is it, the Last Supper, you know, what does that have to do? And I thought, the Last Supper equals 54. This is called, it was called the channel art, but I've always thought it was the banner or whatever. Banner equals 54, and yesterday was 54 days after my birthday. And when my girlfriend got off work, she wanted to go to Denison, which I also talked about in that video, in my previous video. And she wanted to get groceries, but she wanted to go to Pizza Ranch and get some chicken. And I was I was like, how? no way, she hates Pizza Ranch, but she really wanted fried chicken. And since we were going to Denison, she thought, we'll go to Pizza Ranch or whatever. And I, then I'm going, the Last Supper... Man, should I even eat fried chicken? I mean, am I going to die today, or am I going to die after eating this, or whatever, you know? But I was like, ah, screw it, I'm just going to eat it anyway. Because this says the slipper, the other one says KFC. It doesn't say anything about Pizza Ranch. I might have changed my mind if we were going to KFC. Anyway, in regards to the gold slipper, you know, I always talk about how Dunlap, it's only a town of like a little over a thousand people, and the majority of the stuff that I've ever known or talked about, I talk about how they're known for killing the last keeper of the sacred pole of the Omaha Indians, Chief Yellow Smoke. But there is actually this interesting thing in regards to the slipper as well, is Ray Nareth. He's actually 100, he turned 105 on December 9th this year. I actually didn't go to his birthday this year, but I've been to all the other ones. He's the He was a bartender until he was 103 years old at the Gold Slipper. And he's still alive, kicking. He got a hole-in-one on the golf course when he was like 92 years old. I mean, crazy. And there's this article about him, about like the Des Moines Register or some place and some news article came and wrote an article about him when he was 100 years old. But I thought I'd look into him because I've actually looked into him before because, I don't know, you know, something interesting about him. He's actually originally from Erling, Iowa. That's where he was born. And that's where I talked about the most famous exorcism ever taking place. But he actually moved to Dunlap before that happened. He was born in 1911. So anyway, whatever, I looked him up. He was born on 12-9 of 1911. Just think about it. All the stuff in regards to the Super Bowl LI. Super Bowl LI equals 912 in English Gematria. 9, you know, December 9th is 12 slash 9 or 9 slash 12. L I L is the twelfth letter. Nine is the ninth, or I is the ninth letter. L I equals one hundred and twenty-nine. Twelve and nine, and he was born on twelve nine of nineteen eleven. Both fitting for Super Bowl Fifty One. If you write out ninety-five, that I said is interrelated to one hundred and sixty-six and connected to me. Ninety.
95 equals 129. The date numerology that he was born, 12 plus 9 plus 19 plus 11, 51. His name, the small way, equals 51, like Super Bowl 51. It's pretty weird stuff. Also, like I said, he was born in Erling, Iowa, where I've mentioned a whole lot about the famous exorcism. But he moved to Dunlap in 1916, which was 12 years before the exorcism and whatnot. But look at what the article even says. They talk, if you go and read the actual article, it says he went to the military and when he came back, he worked at a pool hall in downtown Dunlap called Houston's Billards. But Houston is spelled the same way as Houston, right? Houston's Billards. What are the odds that he works there? His name equals 51. So, I didn't tell my girlfriend about any of this, and we just went to Denison, and we went to we went to Walmart and got groceries, and then to Pizza Ranch and whatever. And on the way there, our daughter in the back was sitting there, and she's like, Dan, I know, she calls me Dan too, because I'm not like her biological dad. I've just been raising her since she was a little kid, and her dad's barely in the picture, not because we don't let him, but... Anyway, she's like, I know who you have a crush on, and I was, uh, I was, I knew what she was talking about, because she did it before, a long time ago, she told me she had a crush on some boy at school named Nathan, and I gave her crap about it, and we were at the Gold Slipper eating, and one of my friends, who I've known since preschool, Pam, has worked there probably 10 years or more, and I said, oh, I have a crush on Pam, because in first grade, we kissed or whatever. And she's thought that was the funniest thing ever. But on the way there, randomly, Claire says, Dan, I know who you have a crush on. And I said, well, hopefully it's your mom, because otherwise I'm going to be in trouble. And then she said, Paula. And I was like, Paula? Do you mean, don't you mean Pam? And she's like, yeah, Pam at the slipper or whatever. Well, Paula is the lady who owns the gold slipper now. And what's funny is in Jabatria, Paula equals 51. So... I don't know. It's just pretty weird that that would even happen, that she would even bring that up in regards to the gold slipper. So, you know, who knows what it's all really connected to, but it's some pretty strange coincidences. Also yesterday, I got this comment about the Tim Tebow beating the Steelers, and, you know, he had like 316 yards, and he put the John 316 on him and whatnot. And... Anyway, it reminded me of Tim Tebow. I've talked about how the Michigan Wolverines are connected. They even played in the Orange Bowl in Miami this year and whatnot. But Tim Tebow's team lost to Jake Long and Chad Henney's Michigan team in college or whatever. And, of course, they were both Dolphins. And I talked about how I both have, I have both of their jerseys, number 7 and number 77. And then I started thinking about the very first ever Michigan game that I went to was in 2003. And it was none other. It was on September 6th of 2003 against Houston, of all teams, right? And the score was 50-3. to Super Bowl LI, the small way, equals 53. The only other football game that I went to before this was an Iowa State-Nebraska game in 1994, I think it was. The year that Nebraska beat Miami in the championship game. Oh, actually, hold on. Let me look that up really quick. I'm pretty sure it was 1994. I know I went to the Iowa State game, and Iowa State got rocked. But just, yeah, it was. They beat Miami in the Orange Bowl in Miami. Pretty weird. I went November 12th. So that was even, I was 12 years old. In two days, 122. But moving back to this here. So the reason that this is even more interesting is out of the blue the other day or a couple weeks ago, I was thinking about the death of my best friend's brother. I don't know why. It just all of a sudden came to my head December 16th. And I thought I'd look more into it because he died on May 11th. And I remember the car that he was driving was a Saturn, 
And in Gematria, Saturn equals 511. And then my best friend's brother dies driving a Saturn on 511. And the reason that driving the Saturn was so significant is because that Saturn was the same car that we took to that Michigan game to go watch them play Houston or whatever. So, you know, pretty interesting that I would even just randomly think of this story and look it up or whatever. But even the Saturn, the car was a 2001 Saturn, and Saturn equals 21 the small way, 511 in Jewish Gematria. My cousin was also involved in this accident, and he's the one who ran for help. His name equals the same as my best friend's brother who died. It was a dirt road that equals 44, as the dirt road is actually, we call it ghost road that equals 44. Car crash equals 44, kill equals 44. And what was interesting about it is if you went from my birthday to the day that it happened, it's a span of 183 days. And then if you go from that day to my next birthday, a span of 183 days, you know, so my birthday was the exact or this was the exact halfway point between my two birthdays, my 20, 20th birthday and my 20, or my 21st birthday and my 22nd birthday, Saturn equals 21. If you write out 183, it equals 121 and 238. Daniel Barrett, my name equals 121. And my brother Kirk's birthday was the 238th day of the year because it was in a leap year on August 25th. So he was born in 88, he died in a leap year as well, 04. He died 3 months, 14 days before his 16th birthday, or also 106 days and a Ford Ranger is what hit him with equals 106. If you write out 16th birthday, it equals the same as his name, the same as my cousin who ran for help. His initials, you know, it's 211 for all that. His initials K, A, and S. Two, one, and one. 211. And in regards to my birthday, and it being three months, 14 days before his, my birthday is on the 314th day of the year. You know, crazy weird stuff. But the reason that I brought it back up was just for the fact that we took that Saturn there. And what are the odds the first ever Michigan game I go to? They're playing Houston, and the score even totals 53. It was also, that was also on the 249th day of the year, and then he died 249 days later. I'm not sure the significance of that, but just an interesting little connection. Also, that also means, too, that I know we left on the Friday before, so that means we left on 9-5, you know, all of the 95 stuff that I talked about up here fried chicken and all the connections to the gold slipper. It's just interesting. We left on that day. Actually, one other thing before I end this video, but I forgot to point out that my daughter's name is Claire Cowgill, and in Gematria that equals 129. You know, connecting to the Super Bowl, L.I. Talked about how she wanted to listen to rock and roll, and I put it on the Lithium channel. And somebody pointed out to me that the the symbol for lithium is L-I, right? And there's all these weird stuff happening when I was listening to that channel. L-I, L equals 12, I equals 9, a lot like 129. Interesting that my daughter's name equals that. And before my brother had a kid, her and my sister's kid were the only, like, whatever, grandkids and they both, their full names both equal 184. And no joke, their birthdays are 152 days apart, like Super Bowl LI and Simple Gematria. I mean, it's just unbelievable. I even talked about my girlfriend. Her name equals 152 in Gematria. You know, my sister, my sister's birthday is also December 11th. And that was the big day I talked about in regards to Tannehill being injured on his 13th game of the season. So, whatever, going to leave it at that. Just wanted to make a video showing some of these weird things.
And some of the stuff that YouTube does to me, they take away, they do this all the time. And they've been doing it. I've been documenting it for since the beginning of my channel, especially after the Prince one. They were, I mean, all kinds of weird stuff was coming up with that. I have, if you go to my YouTube copyright strike in my videos and whatnot playlist, they did it at exact times. And I even put up my videos at certain days that synced up to what they were showing me. And I didn't even realize that I was doing it, you know, like, for example, my very first ever YouTube video that got a copyright claim was put up on the 262nd day of the year on a date numerology of 62, and they gave it a copyright claim 262 days later. And everything that I talked about in that video was in regards to the numbers 26 and 62, and Ramona Quimby, and I also talked about the Queen, I believe, a little bit, and Queen equals 26 and 62 in Gematria. Lots of weird stuff. So whatever, I'm done rambling. Was trying to make this short. So uh, have a good one and peace.